Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane and this is Loopy Mabel's Closet. Now in today's video I've been doing some sweatshirt making. In fact I've been making the Linden sweatshirt by Grainline Studio and I just wanted to share with you what I have made. <music> Welcome back and yeah it's all about the sweatshirt um, again fairly new to making sweatshirts so far in my uh, sewing so I thought right give it a go I like to wear a sweatshirt around the house um, you know just to slop about in so I thought right I'll give it a go so I've had the Linden sweatshirt pattern for quite some time and I thought I'd have a go and try two different fabrics just to see what I thought. So first things first, you may recognise this fabric because I also made the fantastic, well I think it is, fantastic Somerset t-shirt by Maven Patterns. Um, I made it in that, I'll pop a picture up of me wearing that and there is a vlog coming on that separately and so I had loads of this fabric left I got this fabric from Pound Fabrics and you can only order a minimum of three meters so I got three meters of this I don't think I paid very much for it I probably paid six pound I think maybe six seven pound for the three meters and it's a floral jersey gorgeous vintage feel about it lovely dark brown background with lovely autumnal colours and the flowers and what have you so I thought it'd be ideal so as I say I made the summer set and then got loads left so I thought there's enough to do a sweatshirt so went for the Linden sweatshirt so another absolutely brilliant dressmaking project again if you've never had a go at making a sweatshirt and you want something fairly simple to do this is a great pattern to follow I uh, loved making it. I didn't go, I didn't buy any of the ribbon for the cuffs or anything. I just used the same fabric and again for the neckline and again for the uh, the base, the hem. Uh, so this was in like a, a, I would say, medium weight jersey. And the only thing with this is it's, I washed it and it's gone quite big it's quite like dishcloth feeling about it so there's not a lot of um there's a lot of stretch to it and the recovery is well not brilliant let's just say uh, but what can you expect for six pound for three meters and also it's gone really bobbly and I mean, I've, this is, I've only wore, washed it once and wore it. It's this second time I've wore it. It's gone all pilly along the side and up the sleeves. And it looks a lot more worn than it actually is. So I'm not very impressed. So I guess you get what you pay for. Ideal fabric, I suppose, if you want to have a go at dressmaking and just maybe have a practice run through with because obviously it doesn't cost you an awful lot but again as I say you only get what you pay for so I now second thoughts about buying the cheaper fabrics because the quality isn't all that great at the end of it really pretty fabric as well and obviously my summer set t-shirt is going to go the same way I haven't washed that one yet but that's going to end up going the same way which is quite disappointing but I have made a couple more and I'll show you them in the vlog with better quality. But back to the pattern, absolutely brilliant pattern. The sleeves were way too long and uh, yeah, I think I had to cut off two inches off mine. Let me just, I did make a note on the pattern sleeve. Yeah, I shortened my sleeves by two inches and uh, I did size 12 on the pattern. And it's a lovely, lovely size, lovely size, uh, quite a wide, neckline for a sweatshirt for me well it is on this I think it's because the fabric is like quite stretchy like dishcloth so it seems really really wide but a brilliant saw really enjoyed making it from start to finish and 
obviously if I make it again I will go for a better quality sweatshirt fabric or better quality jersey fabric. The only thing is though for, with making things like things like these garments, a, a same for the Freya, the Freya t-shirt by tilling the buttons. I mean it's lovely to sew, it's lovely to do, do, do some dressmaking and make these kind of tops which are really simple easy sewing projects for an, you know a couple of hours on an afternoon. But you know, it's it's not cheap to buy the fabric. Any decent quality fabric's not cheap to buy a decent quality fabric. And if you're just gonna make a sweatshirt that you're just gonna like, you know, doss about in in the house, it's like quite an expensive way of doing it. So it does put me off, I suppose, making this type of thing again, unless I wanted a really good quality sweatshirt. But then. I'm only going to wear sweatshirts around the house or if I'm going to be going to the gym and back, which it isn't going to happen. Uh, you know, things like that. I, I, I certainly don't go out. I mean, I've got joggers on this. I've got joggers on with this sweatshirt today because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just in the house. But I certainly wouldn't go out dressed like this. The only the way I would go dressed like this is in the dark of night. And if I need, if I run out of milk to go to the local garage, there's no way I would just go out, you know, if I was going to go shopping or... or or anywhere out dressed like this because it's just not me so for me to make a sweatshirt in more expensive fabric it seems a little bit extravagant in my eyes where i can probably get well i know i can i can get some really good quality um sweatshirts from h&m even primark so it does make me kind of um you know uh, hesitate in making this type of top again with good quality fabric so it's it's like weighing up i suppose what you want out of it if i'm going to make it again do i want to spend it spend on more expensive jersey to make a sweatshirt or would i rather spend the equivalent that i would spend to make another sweatshirt on some maybe nice viscose or some maybe fine needle cord or some nice linen do you know what i mean so I'm in two minds about that, but great pattern. And I also made this red one, which Mabel is beautifully modeling. And this is in a French terry. And obviously this is much better quality and it hasn't uh, got bigger in the wash or anything. So it looks smaller on the mannequin because it hasn't got as much stretch as this one. And I did a little bit of top stitching and I did it in the white just to just to just to test my top stitching skills out really. I used the um twin needle and I did it around the sleeves and I thought well if I'm gonna do some testing of my stitching, I'm gonna go for white because then it will show how good or bad my stitching is. And again, it's only for me to wear around the house. In fact, my daughter's got a rise on this, so I'm just probably gonna give this one to her. Um so yeah and I did, again I did the white top stitching around the neck and the neckline is doesn't seem as as big as this neckline on here so it's all about the fabric the stretch and the fabric it's got to be um, but the only thing with this fabric is it as I say French terry and it came like in a tube a tube of the fabric so I just left it you know as a tube so it was like on a fold like folded a tube so I just pop, put it on the cut my cutting table put the patterns out and I used the natural folds of the tube as my folds which I shouldn't have done because those natural folds I don't know how long have the, that fabric had been folded like that so when I come to make it you can still see it I think you can see that fold line is literally imprinted into the fabric and I thought it might wash out no it hasn't washed out so I've got the fold line on the front and the fold line running running down the back I don't know if I can see it like a white fold line so what I should have done obviously it's all a learning curve what I should have done on oh, cat hair um, was moved the fold line from the sides to the center and then I could have placed my pattern pieces on the new fold lines and that probably would have been cut out and that white part of the fabric wouldn't have been in my pattern pieces yeah so so if I ever get fabric that comes on a tube 
I'll remember to do that to move the fold line because like I said, I don't know how long that fabric's been on the roll in the tube like that. And obviously it's, it's just marked the fabric and it, it's not gonna come out and that's really gonna bug me. But my daughter said she'll have it. She'll wear it round the house. Again, it's just gonna be worn round the house. My daughter's gonna wear it. So again, you see, you know, I've made something, I really enjoyed this, I mean I enjoy the sewing process so and also both of these sweatshirts were all part of just enhancing my sewing with jersey skills and my top stitching and my twin needle use as I say because jersey, the twin needles, working with stretch fabric is all still fairly new to me maybe I've been working for it with it now for about the last three months or so, four months at a push so it's all a learning curve so I've basically took these two sweatshirts as part of my training, my self-training. But like I say, I'll wear it, I'll wear it around the house. I love it, it's comfy. This one's come out much bigger than that one because obviously the fabric. So I just thought I'd share with you my thoughts on this pattern, really simple pattern again. I mean, front, back, two sleeves. Um, you've got the neckline to add on. You've just got the two cuffs and the hem at the bottom. And I'll try and stand up a bit and show you sorry that on the hemline and I'll try and show you how the fabric is if you can see it's just gone all really bitty and again on the sleeves really like pilled and that's you know it spoils it a little bit for me enjoyed making it up and I have now got out my system. I've now made a sweatshirt. I always wondered what it would be like to, to make a sweatshirt. So I've done it, made it, happy with the results. So would I make this again? Yes, I would make it again, but I would be a little bit more considerate before I made it, because obviously when I made these two, it was self part of my self learning with sewing with stretch jersey and twin needles and all that. And obviously I got cheap fabric, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, and did I really need any sweatshirts? Not really, because I've already got two already in my drawers, in my wardrobe. But um, I would make it again when this one's worn out and my other two have worn out. And then I do need another sweatshirt. I don't wear sweatshirts out and about, so it's not like I need loads of sweatshirts. I only really need one or two just for roaming around in the house. So I would probably wait until... I'm in need of a sweatshirt rather than just making a sweatshirt. Whereas just buying expensive fabric just to make a sweatshirt because I can make a sweatshirt, it doesn't really, it's not very, really, it's not very frugal, is it really, to be honest. So that's made me a little bit more considerate about what I'm gonna make. But I'm still in my first, what, first 18 months of coming back into my dressmaking. So at the moment, I'm still wanting to sew lots of things. and I wanna try out different fabrics just to see what I like, what I like sewing with, what suits me, uh, how that fabric works, you know, the characteristics of that fabric and all those things and like testing out, like I said, you know, using twin needle, working with the stretch, adding neck, the neck lines and all those things like that. So I'm enjoying doing all that, um, but I will refrain from making another one until I absolutely need to make another sweatshirt. I think I'll just do it that way around. But great all in all pattern and as I say my daughter's going to have this and I have learned something from this uh, project. So all in all not too bad a make um, and I would highly recommend if you're wanting to make a sweatshirt and you're looking for an easy sweatshirt pattern then this is a great one to try. So it's the Linden sweatshirt by Grainline Studio. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog on this sweatshirt pattern review. If you did thumbs up would be really nice and subscribe if you haven't already done so um, until the next time though thanks so much for joining me today please take care and i shall see you very soon and happy sewing <laughs>